Hello everyone, welcome back to my short video learning series. In this video, we will be talking about the definition of reinforcement. So for the demonstration purpose, we are having this PSC bridge and we will define reinforcement in one of its section. So let's be the section, this mid section. If I select this, these are the mid section. So for the definition of reinforcement, we go under the properties tab and here under the section manager, we select reinforcement. Now we have all the section present over here. We just need to select the section and here we get the definition inputs. So you can see we are having the longitudinal reinforcement and shear reinforcement. So let's first understand the longitudinal reinforcement. We can define the reinforcement via two methods which is input method A and input method B. So when I select the input method A, we will have the references and we can give the references manually based upon these values. This is the these are the axis, this is the y axis and this is the z accordingly we can provide the offset and then we can give the location to our reinforcement number spacing and dia. Then we are having input method B where we just need to select the start and the end point like this and then you can provide the number of reinforcement you are having and then you can give the following details. So let's define the reinforcement first I'll change the units to kilonet and meter. So if I select input method B, I just select the start and the end point like this. We give the number of reinforcement we are having. If you want the edge bar, you can check on this option. So the edge bar will be placed and spacing will be then selected accordingly and give the part. So as we know, this is a composite section. So this is made of two parts that is steel, the PSC girder and the concrete slab. So part one will be for this girder and part two will be for the deck. So I'm selecting part 2 since I'm defining the reinforcement in deck and here I click on add. So in the similar manner when we want to define the reinforcement at the bottom, we can just simply select this in this manner and then we can give the details. But suppose you want to provide this it using the input method A. So here I will give the reference. I can select the bottom as reference point, give the number as 4 spacing, select the rebar and this will be part 1, click on add. So in this manner the reinforcement will be defined for using the input method A. Now once this is done we have learned about the longitudinal reinforcement coming to the shear reinforcement. So here we are having the diagonal and the torsional reinforcement that we will be defining. So here we give the pitch. So if I am having the stair of spacing as 0.15 meter so I provide that angle will be 90 and here we give the area so I'm having I give the size of the dia and give the number so if I'm having two legged stirrups I give it as two and click on OK same goes for the torsional reinforcement here we give the pitch and here we give the reinforcements this is the longitudinal torsion and this is the web torsion so for the longitudinal I'm selecting the total longitudinal reinforcement that I'm having. So suppose we are having something like this. We click on this and we hit on apply. So once this is done, now when we check the reinforcement, you can see these being defined. So if I want to change the dia here, yeah, now it is okay. So in this manner we can define the reinforcement, we can also copy it to any other section by just selecting this copy reinforcement, select the section and then you can click on OK and the reinforcement will be defined. So in this manner reinforcement is defined. I hope the video was helpful for you. See you in the next.